What's up, blockheads? We are up here at iMotorsports in Orlando today, and uh, y'all have been requesting test rides on Indians from the channel like crazy, so we finally managed a way to uh, work out doing some test rides on Indians. Thanks to my friend, Santa here. Hey guys, how you doing? Up here at iMotorsports, they've got Indians, they've got a couple used bikes, you guys do Vanderhall as well. But today we're gonna be looking at and focusing on the Indian Challenger Dark Horse. Love the matte black. I don't know a ton about the bike, so I'm gonna be turning it over to Santa here and he's gonna be letting you guys know a little bit about this. Here we got a 2020 Indian Challenger Dark Horse, uh, 122 horsepower from factory at 128 foot of pound torque, enough power from a uh, factory. That's a lot of power. Uh, the primary that we have here is very short, you know, so if you compare with another bikes, which is gonna be probably this side, uh, you are gonna find out that this transfer the power straight to the engine. So you have a big fan here, which is a liquid cool engine. If you guys live in a hot environment, you don't have to worry about heat, you know. Stop air, and go traffic, yeah. Like yeah. Air cool engine, so you always uh, suffer because the bike is gonna overheat. Mm -hmm. So with this guy, you don't have that uh, problem. So you have storage. If you wanna take the bike for a long ride, you have the possibility of adding a two pack to make it like a full dress. Bike. Okay, so basically like one of the pieces that goes yes, up here. Correct. The cornering, you got some assistance from the traction uh, control and the leaning technology, uh, which help you just to lean more. What do they call that? Smart lean tech. User interface here. What do they call it on India? Uh, the center command, seven inch touch screen. You got a push button here too. It's gonna roll. You're gonna have that nice Indian sign. You got all your gauges here. They're lit really well. It's like the, yeah. the backlighting is, is really crisp. Yeah, here you can go through all your settings. Your gauges here is a touch screen. You got your navigation system here. So zoom in, zoom out with two uh, fingers, even using uh, gloves. This is pretty cool, man. You got your three rides mode. You got rain, you got sport, and you got a standard. Right? I know on the uh, the Chieftain that I rode, changing it into sport really wakes it up. Like right. that was a big difference. So right. looking forward to seeing how it feels on this one for sure. Yeah. Got your Bluetooth connectivity here. So you can add your phone, you can have your contact, you can have your messages show here. You got your music center here. The components started up earlier. It sounds really good. Also, uh, you got the possibility just to move all your gauges here with one button. Oh, nice. Yep. Another good feature about this beautiful bike is electronic windshield. So pretty much with one touch, you take it up and down, adjust it on the go, you don't have to. Oh, wow. So Indian offer different uh, sizes uh -huh. in this one. So this is the standard one. That actually changes like the angle of it too. What is it, about three inch? Uh, yeah, changes it's about, about three inch? It's about three inch and a half. Every detail on this bike is made for aerodynamics, you know, all these shapes, beautiful shapes. So as you can see this front, my opinion is very sexy, you know, with all these LED lights. If you take a look at the inverted front box, also top of the line, rainbow brakes, oversized rotor, stopping power of this baby is just awesome. Nice. So you got a top of the line bike from factory. What's the size, the displacement on this one? It's 108, 108. Uh, cubic inches. Yeah, I love the front. It's got that like kind of Audi vibe to it with the, uh, the LED lights, the running lights. Awesome, man, well, thank you for the info. So if you guys want to look up Santa here, I'll drop his link down in the description below to his Instagram. Also, if you guys want to check out iMotorsports here in Orlando, I'll be sure to drop their link down in the description as well. And obviously a uh, link to the bike. So if you guys are interested in more information on it, you guys can click the link down there and check it out. But we're gonna go ahead and get to the test ride part of this and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys how it feels. All right, throwing a leg over it. Seat height, pretty low, that's good. Let's see, we got a fob charger kind of thing. So, on. Yep. Nice, just push and start. All right, thanks man. All right, man. We'll see you in a bit. Woo, big old bagger. Man, these bars are, <laughs> they come way back. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, oh, we 
you doing, tow truck driver? Don't pull into me, please. <laughs> First initial thoughts being on this bike. So getting on it feels plenty powerful. Jumping into traffic. Seating position, ergonomics, incredibly comfortable. Like I said, it's got these floorboards and they're comfortable. I don't feel stretched out at all. I'm sitting upright. The bars come back pretty far. Getting into neutral, super easy. So the, the front forks, you know, right there, the triple. And these bars basically come like out and way back. We didn't have the fairing here. It'd be an interesting look. We're just gonna be paying attention to kind of the ergonomics, the feel of it, the power. Just through the uh, couple gears that I have been through thus far, does have a really nice click in the shifter the throttle i don't know it feels kind of there's a lot of there's a lot of take up initially i'm used to kind of like more of a touchy throttle i guess so this thing it just feels feels nice and smooth so i have self-canceling blinkers all right getting up onto highway one thing i do love about it is that the mirrors are actually functional this guy getting over. Good braking. Yeah, the brakes feel good. <laughs> Just had to grab a handful of them right there. Actually, sounds really good. It's just really, it just has a really nice throaty tone to it getting on this highway definitely has some nice power to it you got your gear indicator up here miles per hour we're on the left i think my biggest criticism so far is the way the throttle feels i feel like i really have to like get a lot of it but i think that probably changes up when you're in like that sport mode that he was talking about so i'll change it over to sport mode here in a minute god i do not like being around this much traffic in a test ride so let's go here change it into sport back to standard yeah so you have to you have to turn way more in standard in order to feel it versus sport much more responsive I'm a fan of sport and I would assume rain mode yeah rain mode like look at that that's a huge difference in throttle response I mean I'm sure you guys can hear it and we'll go to standard can see how far you have to pull and then sport mode way more responsive yeah like I was saying about the mirrors I actually like that they're uh, out there a bit more because you can actually use them on a lot of the bikes that I've ridden previously and I've got my fair share a lot of times you're looking at your arms you know looking at your shoulders so this is actually pretty nice in terms of wind I mean you know on the highway here we're going about 70 miles an hour that's crazy does not feel like we're going 70 miles an hour this thing is smooth it says we're going 70 so I guess we're going 70 yeah it's just crazy smooth let's see if I can adjust the windshield I don't really feel much buffeting like maybe a little bit on the sides of the helmets but you put the windshield up that's so cool yeah man I made a huge difference in the buffeting I barely feel anything meow I said it adjusts about three and a half inch and you can actually replace the windshield on the front here to a different height one if you want I think I like this windshield down more. I remember on the Chieftain I liked uh, the windshield down as well. No, I maybe like it up more. You know, the cool thing is I don't have to get off the bike and change it to the side. I can just use this cool little button right here. Man, this thing is comfortable. What do you guys think? What do y'all think about this whole area right now? Let me know your thoughts. It does not feel like you're going as fast as you're going on this thing. It's smooth. Plenty of power on tap to work your way through traffic. Let's get this corner with a little bit of speed behind us. See how it does. Nice sweeper. I mean, I'm leading pretty good, but I feel like I've got like a good amount left to go there you go it's a hundred and we good man it's so smooth 100 miles an hour <laughs> that's great 
Oh, you could definitely do some miles on this thing. And we're cooking right now. It doesn't feel like it at all. I am just blown away by that. Wow. Dude, that's, I feel like the speedometer's wrong. Engine braking feels nice. A little harder to rev match because you got to take out that throttle more, but I really got to get used to like the uh, metric style indicators only on one side. Coming to a stop. Like I said, it's, it's a bigger bike, but I'm flat footing it on both sides. Doesn't feel overwhelming, doesn't feel like too heavy or anything like that. I'm uh, five foot ten inches tall. I don't know what my inseam is. Let's see if we can figure out this radio thing. 89, uh, 101. Isn't that like a rock station? The radio, it sounds super clear. I don't know what components they're using, but it sounds really clear. I like the little storage compartments here. I, I kind of feel like it's almost like counterintuitive for them to flip up because then you got to like duck down to see what's in there. I almost feel like they should flip the other direction, especially from the rider perspective, because if they were to flip down, then you could kind of reach in there and get whatever you need. But them opening up like this, like I got to I got to duck down to see what's in there. Let's see. Then you got the cell phone stuff. If you want to add a device, you got the GPS and then you got all this touchscreen works with gloves. That's awesome. Zoom out, zoom out back over meow. Zoom in, zoom in. I didn't really have any expectations, you know, what to expect when riding this. But yeah, I am uh, super surprised by the smoothness. I mean, you guys saw, we got that daily hundo in and just smooth as can be. Like Owen Wilson. Wow. 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 I definitely prefer the feeling of the throttle when it's in sport mode, by far. Maybe that's just because like the bikes I'm used to you know, I own a uh, 2020 Harley Davidson Softail Lowrider S. Nice. I kind of heard something in the front end though, whenever I did that. I don't know what that was. Kind of sounded metallic. I don't know, like metal, like tapping metal maybe. I'm not really sure what that is. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. If you can hear that or not. The biggest thing you guys are going to get tired of me saying is smooth. Man, it's so smooth. But do you hear that? That. I don't know what that is. So I'm hitting these bumps. You know, like you guys see how the... the bikes hitting those bumps the suspension on this thing is nice the braking on this thing nice the power nice i've ridden bikes that have more like low-end torque feel to them like you know the the dyno test by the seat of the pants kind of thing and um it's got some power that's for sure it's not like uncontrollable unbearable or anything like that right on indian all right, see how the sound sounds, uh, the speaker sound at these speeds. <laughs> All right, yeah. Oh, bird. The speaker is even at these speeds, perfectly clear distance like this being on a highway going these speeds is totally what this bike is meant for so i guess it's a pretty good test ride you know using it for the application for which it was built you got the fairing in the front which is blocking the wind on that note on wind note there we go cruise control on there we go cruise control yeah set yeah so the wind i mean you've got these uh, front little deflectors here and obviously the big fairing in the front but you don't really feel the wind until like out here and like on the helmet, like you're not getting wind until like way up here. If I put the windshield down, I'm starting to feel it on the helmet now. It's more like here versus putting it back up. That is so cool. Yeah, it's like way, it's like up here now. And it's got the little vents in the lower part of the windshield, which, you know, I assume is to help with buffeting. Cruise control on. Let's see if it cancels rolling forward on throttle. It does, awesome. I'm in sixth gear, didn't shift down in that one. Still got plenty of movement. And the handling on it, despite it being a bigger bike, I mean, the handling feels nice. Damn, I'm putting that windshield back up. It helps so much with the freaking wind. Sorry guys, y'all gotta look through the windshield. Overall thoughts, man, I think the biggest thing I'm coming back to right now is just how smooth it is. Good amount of power, it's comfortable. 
The fact the convenience of having the windshield up and down, very nice. You can connect your phone, have all your infotainment stuff right here. It's got the radio, plenty clear. If you're looking to lay down some miles, you know, you've got some storage in the back with the bags. I think this is a uh, strong contender if you're considering touring. I do like the way the front of it looks in terms of like the design style. It's got more of an aggressive look to it, which I like a lot. However, I will say that I feel like the bars were kind of an afterthought, like maybe they shaped all that up first. And then, cause the bars, man, these things come like way, way back. I'd love to hear this thing with an exhaust. Dude, I'm getting on the brakes there. Brakes feel good. I mean, of course they do, they're freaking Brembo. <laughs> but yeah, I think my biggest criticism, I mean, I had it in sport mode like the entire time because standard mode, the throttle's not responsive enough for like my, my own comfort. I feel like I have to grab too much throttle in order to get it to like kind of respond. So if it were me, like, you guys hear that? You supposed to do that? That was weird. That's interesting because right when I first started riding, it kind of felt like it was gonna die. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, throttle response in standard mode, it just wasn't, you know, touchy enough for me, I guess. But uh, it, you know, if I were to own it, I would just leave it in sport mode. It's because it feels, it feels right in sport mode. Between that, and I don't know, I'm sure they make aftermarket bars for it, but uh, between those two things, man, honestly, like not a, not a ton of criticism. I just am a big fan of motorcycles in general. So uh, yeah, I don't usually criticize too, too hard. One thing that is nice about it, it's a bigger bike. People definitely see, I haven't had anybody cut me off yet, which is nice. Look how far those bars come over in full lock. Crazy. Full lock the other way. Boop. Look at that, man. That's, That's wild. Neutral. Off. Kickstand. Easy to find. Oh, that's cool too. The kickstand springs out instead of you having to push it all the way. Look. Right there, it springs. That's, that's cool. Off. I really wonder what the hell that sound was. I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, there you go, guys. That is the test ride on the new Indian Challenger Dark Horse. Aesthetically, I like it. I mean, obviously, I liked all the blacked out look. Red stripe on the wheels is cool. And the way it all lights up in the front, very nice. The forks are here, and the bars come back at like, man, what is that, like a 70 degree angle? I don't even know. What do you guys think? Y'all post up down in the comments below. Let me know what y'all think. Hope you guys enjoyed that test ride video. Hope it was insightful. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try to answer to the best of my knowledge. You guys be sure to hit up Santa. I'll, like I said, I'll drop his link down in the description below. Big thanks to iMotorsports here in Orlando for allowing me to test ride the bike. Greatly appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon also, so it sends you notifications to future uploads and activity. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. All right, deuces.